the problem with 2CB. 2CB is a molecule originally synthesized by the chemist Alexander Shulgin in 1974. This molecule has an effect on the body described by many users as energetic, euphoric, and psychedelic. Similar effects as LSD and MDMA. However, as the years passed by and globalization kept eating its way around the world, 2CD is sold today in many countries like the United States, Mexico, Colombia, Peru as a completely different new drug that has nothing to do with the original molecule synthesized by Shulgin in 1974. Instead, the drug is a combination of MDMA, which is probably bath salts, LSD, which is probably 25-INBOME, a highly toxic and extremely dangerous drug often sold as LSD, ketamine, GHB, pink or green colorant, and who knows what other stuff the cartel are putting on, on this stuff that they are calling 2CB, 2C, pink cocaine. This pink cocaine has a very dangerous consequence on the human brain, with many cases reported of psychosis, convulsion, and even death. While the real molecule doesn't have these types of consequence at all, of course, if used wisely, and the same happens with MDMA, where teenagers believe they are taking that molecule and instead they are taking a horrible substance like bath salts or methadone. In a recent survey by What's In My Baggy done at music festivals in the United States, 8 out of 10 bags tested for MDMA had other stuff in it, like the molecules mentioned before and the teenage years had no idea. According to a new interview with Narcos by the Vista Semana Colombian Media, pink cocaine or 2C is starting to become much more profitable than cocaine. So this fake 2CB might be closer to you than you think. Don't take this shit and if you ever decide to consume, always test your stuff. For example, Eldritch test the solution turns purple in the presence of LSD helping rule out the previously mentioned 25-INBOME or other dangerous research chemicals with the same objective. Also, you can use a Marquis reagent uh, used in ecstasy testing kits. Uh, it can also be used for substances such as opiates, like codeine and even 2CV. The whole purpose of this video is to share awareness, knowledge, with the main objective for the people and community to stay safe.